I've dedicated my life, my professional life, to making the world safer for ions, molecules, and free radicals. We set the company up in 1980. It grew to have 15 employees, and I found that I was spending most of my time being a human resource manager. So we downsized, I've successfully spun all my employees off but one, and I'm back to doing the technical stuff that I really love. We don't do chemical manipulations per se. So we don't have a lab. I very rarely would be asked to come into a client and do some chemistry for them. We have a objective that the client wants. They want to handle a sulfuric acid process so that no one in their company gets hurt. They don't spill. Well, that's what they say. So we'll structure programs that are aimed at achieving that goal, but don't really look like chemical safety. A equipment maintenance program where we sit down with the facilities guys and we discuss with them how they maintain the gaskets and seals on various equipment. And oh, by the way, how do you do it on that sulfuric acid tank? They don't even realize we're doing chemical safety. We'll sit down with the medical staff and review the chemicals that employees might be exposed to so that the medical staff understands what kinds of signs and symptoms they might see. Well, that's closer to chemical safety, but it's really not the classic definition of chemical safety. We're working in the background.